California with Oklahoma Community Watch, High Desert Community Watch, and Alan on the spot. Now we're doing some cop watching. Driving down, doing the community patrols that High Desert does all the time. And we spotted these guys. We're gonna see what's up. Well, we got here right at the end of it. They were har harassing somebody at the bus stop, don't want to what for. High desert. Okay, this is the second cop watch we're doing tonight in the Victorville Crime Watch. Second unit on scene. And he just came to check and see what was going on. And this is my kid's mom. She was walking in the middle of the street. Okay. Well, we're just here for you guys to protect you, brother. For, no, for no, both we're sides. We're facing north. Uh, yeah, this is uh, your business, man. Uh, this is... It ain't nothing like that. They, they here uh, to protect yes. us from, her from getting hit by a car because she having mental health episodes. And this is my kid's mom. She, she, I don't want to get her to get hit by a car because he boy hit you and keep on going. Yeah. yeah. We understand. Half of them don't have license. Yeah. 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 This is for your protection, no? Make sure you're alright. You guys over at, you guys over at Circle K? You guys, you guys right over there? These officers seem like they're into public service. I don't know if that's just because I'm here, or that I mean we're all here with cameras, or if this is how they actually treat their citizens. No, no, you got to post to do this. You got to give credit where credit's due. It's not. We're not having to be biased. No, we're out here just to document what happened. Look, they could steal a car, they could have shot somebody, that's fine. The only reason I'm out here with the cameras is to make sure that they're not the judge during execution right there. They take them in, 
and then let the judicial system take over. And a lot of times, when there is camera, that's what happens because it's all captured, you know, and they know they do captured, but if there's no cameras, I mean, that's why there's so many people get shot now and stuff. The cops are taking uh, the They're role. not getting punished for it. They're, they're right? taking the roles, that the role of judging you and that's carrying out and carrying out. Because they can get away with it. Yeah. And, and that's, isn't that Judge Dredd? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's like, what, 25, 30 year old movie? Extreme work in how it's on that one. Yeah. I mean, you know, they're gonna. Well, she walked, well, the last guy. The woman got in the car to get a ride. Oh, the guy just walked, walked away. Walked away. Okay. Hey, if you guys want to get the truck or whatever, what I'm gonna do is I think uh, one of us should walk and make sure they get it because a lot of times they'll pull them over. They'll pull them over. They'll pull them over again. Let's so make sure. Pick it up. All right, we're out to the next one, unless something happens. Well, we followed that last stop a mile down the road, and they walked free down here, but now the cops are waiting here for them. I think they might have been just waiting for us to go away. see officers with compassion like this around here? I, yeah, um, I don't know, man. If you look at my channel, I think I have probably the most positive interactions out of a lot of channels. I'm really impressed by this officer and the, you know, taking the time, speak one-on-one -on -one like that. And, you know, some people say it's PR or whatever, and, and if that's, if they're just doing it for the camera, yeah, fine. Up, There's up, more reason why they should have more cameras. Right, yeah. So regardless of the reason, the fact that good's being done, we can't, you can't put anything negative on what we saw. So yeah. I know people will be like, oh, they're just playing PR. It doesn't matter. Good's good, you know, until you know, we, have, we have plenty of bad interactions. There's no need for us to taint the few good ones that yeah, we see. Yeah. All I saw there was help and no try to put anybody away. You know, it was all compassion. That's what we expect. And, and and what's great about the comment is that the guy himself said she was running in the middle of the street. Yeah. So yeah, he needed help. So. 
I don't blame him. I, you know, I mean, I'm concerned. No All right. Well, appreciate you guys' is... support. Yes, sir. And uh, it's great because everybody's driving by and looking at all four of us, uh, full grown men, four of you men out here recording. They just, uh, you can tell it's making an impact just visually. Uh, so I want to thank the guys for coming out tonight. You guys have a good night, all right? You hey. too. Hey, you be careful. Yep. Good job, man. Good job. On to the next. We're going front of this. A desert here. We got a gittle bird up and he's got the spotlight out. Oh here comes some more I see lights over the top there. Oh the gittle bird's just getting here. letting you guys know what's going on um, uh, if you guys a little, little distance I, but I, I, don't, I don't mind you guys filming that's, no that's, that's all okay just, I, just, I just want you guys to be good okay all right appreciate it okay and you know what that's all right that's all I ask you know what it's taken three years to get them to treat us half of the time like that and I just want to say tell Sergeant I appreciate them uh, I don't want to get shot and I don't want them to worry about me I don't want them getting shot so somebody's supposed to be out here with a gun. Um, we are allowed to be out here. He just said it. He just asked for the courtesy. So we're going to give him a little bit of courtesy. Everything that I guess I just said. It's just very easy to get away. And if you know, if you guys know anybody like from the streets, if you know the cops are coming, man, you're a mile away already. There's a, there's supposedly somebody out here with a gun. He said, uh, okay, be yeah. aware. Somebody out here with a weapon. So. He said the cop came up and said we don't have to leave. He just said. Uh, if you could just keep your distance, we'd appreciate it. No problem. It. No, no. I'll keep our distance with these guys.
Oh, this is the guy they hemmed up. The one they had in cuffs. You want to talk to him? Yeah. Hey, brother, you okay? Huh? You okay? I'm shaking up. What were they telling you, brother? You don't mind telling me. I was talking to you. Alrighty. Not a problem, man. Thank you. Hey, we respect your right of privacy, too. We just don't want them to jam you up. Hey, look at our buddy. No, that's not the same truck. He was in a smaller one. These guys are giving up on us. They're giving up on the desert. They got a couple of, a couple of emergency vehicles out in the desert still, so they're probably going to go out there and check it out. Stay out there. Or at least the one guy they had hemmed up got let go. Yeah, they hemmed up two people and they let go. And you know what? Hopefully our cameras have something to do with that. A lot of times they'll run their warning, 